Okay, <laughs> this is all Pam. And this is not a spring chick. And today we're going to be talking about... But basically how the shooting in Colorado is basically having an effect upon the movie going experience. And there's a lot of you that are going, why should that have anything to do with how I go watch a movie? Well, because there are those members of the Democratic Party who yesterday, in the real amount of brilliance, we need to have a, a government office for content. But basically, to, the, so we can approve what is allowed in a movie and our television production and what is not allowed, violence being not allowed. And then, unfortunately, you have the Republicans dancing on top of tables on the Christian right. Well, we've been telling you the reason why we have so many problems in our country because there's too much violence. So, actually, they're using that to change the content of movies as well as what happens on in the theaters. Yeah. So, but, it, uh, well, in other words, it's all about control. It's all about control. You'll understand that the more liberal a society becomes, the more conservative this society comes. Because I can guarantee you that I was making surf and sand pictures in the 1950s and 60s, and the girls were wearing swimsuits about like that. Today, those same grandmothers are saying, well, you can't wear a suit like that. That's no guts illegal. You need a suit like granny panties. So in other words, to protect the general society that doesn't know any better. You have to make rules to protect them from themselves. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, uh, what happens is changing the security situation. They basically want to, well, we need TSA type security at movie theaters to prevent that from happening again. Yeah, I mean, it's like they've, they've got security at concerts, they've got security, uh, I mean, uh, like everywhere. Okay, the only athletic events. Under the Obama administration and the Bush administration, the only business that actually profited massively was the security people. I'm, I'm going to tell you. My father was a police officer. My father will tell you the best security is a security you do not see and do not know exists. Mm -hmm. Because then it gives a person something to think about. I mean, you go, I worked on a thing called It Takes a Thief. And Robert Wagner was, he, he played the thief. And basically, he, he wanted to you know, he said, I don't even care about that. I know that's there. It's what I can't see that worries me. And that worries criminals. I mean, okay, first of all, there's no such thing as a movie theater that doesn't have security now. You just can't open up an emergency exit without setting some sort of alarm off. Mm -hmm. So if the guy went out through an emergency exit, he set something off, plus the building lit up like a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. When that door opens, there's a great big light to the outside, and nobody noticed it anywhere? Mm -hmm. No one noticed it anywhere? No, they just didn't care. So, uh, then, and, and to solve the problem is, well, we need more security. Well, if they just used the security they had that existed beforehand, they wouldn't need more security. Mm -hmm. But um, look for, um, no matter who, okay, uh, you're going to look, the, basically the Republicans and Democrats are going to pound one another for the next, until the election. Well, we have to stop this from ever happening again. We need gun control. Gun control, not only, we need to go into people's homes and take their guns from them. Well, that's no gun anyway. Well, one of the things that it has done is that the focus has been on the economy for this yeah. election year. It gets so, off the economy. It puts it on entertainment and gun control. Mm -hmm. Republicans blame video games and other things. Oh, Bill O'Reilly, I'll tell you Bill O'Reilly, he blames society is becoming degenerate. I hate Christian right idiots. I mean, uh, okay, the people on the right are so loony, I don't pay any attention. I actually pay more attention to people on the left because th th they're not as loony as the people on the right. I mean, thou shall not... Both extremes are extreme. Uh, I know, but views. the extreme on the left, you basically know that nothing they ever say is going to go anywhere <laughs> until you, you know, because nobody will pay any... Okay, if Barack Obama wasn't president, the left would have nothing to show as a deal because they elected Obama as uh, he's not George Bush mm -hmm. and he's not an old man. So, but uh, but uh, Obama today is going to he's going to the movie site, movie theater to I think to lay a reef. He's going to talk to the family members. Um, I don't remember the president of the United States coming to see me when I got shot. <laughs> I know. I was like. Uh, I was shot. I actually got shot in a bank robbery once too, and a lot of people got hurt in a bank robbery besides being shot in the war. I don't remember. 
It'd be an John, I don't issue. remember John Kennedy coming to the hospital and saying, I understand because I actually was injured in World War II. I got a Congressional Medal of Honor and a bad back out of it and all this stuff, so I understand being injured. I didn't actually have that happen. Mm -hmm. And then in Vietnam, I didn't have Lyndon Baines Johnson show up and say, I'm sorry, kid, that this bill. That didn't happen. But the Democrats feel the necessity to feel their pain. You know, which they don't feel. But put it this way, unless you have been shot, you do not feel the guy's pain because it doesn't go away. Because, I mean, I have and a, he's been playing it for a yeah, while. I know. But uh, I have a metal plate in the side of my head. I have bullet holes from knee all the way up to here. I have surgical scars on my from, from certain work to save but kidney, spleen, gallbladder. And I'm all wired up in here. That's why I worry about going through metal detectors. Well, and that was not, that was from. Well, let's just say, from a kid that you never would have expected it. No, no, you know, who, you know, you know, the kids don't shoot you. This one did. No, but um, but but the difference between the inter between the entertainment industry today and the entertainment industry then, you actually have loonies over on my side of Facebook who sincerely think that maybe we need to take the government need to take control of the movie industry. And we need, we need to have TSA-type security at movie theaters in order to prevent that from happening. And basically, nobody will go to a movie if they have to go through metal detectors I and mean, personal searches. I mean, it's just kind of rid ridiculous. Yeah. There, there is this, um, like I said... Uh, well, and then here's the other part they haven't thought about. It adds to the cost of the movie. Yeah. Which, and they already spend too much money for the movies. Or actually, the theater owners are already the, saying the that there's owner, not enough being spent at the movie. No, but it costs. It, but they're not making any money because it costs so much to book a movie like Batman, mm -hmm. and um, and the theater on. Okay, what happens too is that companies are, are going to use this to basically bury box office receipts. So you'll never know how good. Well, the movie was estimated to have made six hundred million dollars in its opening weekend. I can guarantee you, the theaters were not full. For Batman, no matter what you're gonna be told, the theaters were not full. We, and we saw the first showing. But the first. The, the day of, the, not midnight showings. The day of. The we first had the showings. very first showings, and there were no long lines. It says theater sold out. You cannot buy tickets. They were going up and buying tickets. Mm -hmm. This, I'm sorry, these theaters are sold out. Can we have? Oh yeah. Where do you want to set? That was basically the theaters were not sold out, no matter what they're gonna tell you. So, but um, it's how it's being done, but um, you're looking, they're going to have a content change in movies and TV shows. You can bet on it. They're going and to do probably, it. And it'll probably affect video games, too. Video games, because, the, because the, okay, whatever happens is when, here's your big disaster in the universe, when the right and the left both have the same idea. Now, that, then you're in God that's almost kind of scary when they both agree. Because remember, the right and the left do not give a rat's ass about the people in the middle. All they care about the right and the left, and if the right and the left come with the same idea, we have to control content. Well, the right wants to control content. They'd like to, okay, the reason our nation is in as bad a shape as it is because they took religion out of, out of schools. Mm -hmm. No. Right. No. And the left, the reason why our nation is as bad as it is is because we have too much religion in the schools. Mm -hmm. But they've all, they're agreeing now. We're going to have to do something about content. Well, you know what'll happen. Well, the same thing. I, I grew up when the movie industry had a really great. We had, okay. Um, I mean, okay. Um, we used to know one of the great, great, really square type singers in the history of mankind. Really. Was known as the lingerie girl in her early film career, but as soon as the Hayes office came in, and the uh, League, Catholic League of Decency came in, she became. This is she would wear her outfits buttoned up to her neck and way down to her ankles. Oh boy! That was the change that was made then, and you're going to see this will be the changes. You're going to oh, you're going to see sex like you would not believe because the people on the right won't be able to stop the sex. Mm -hmm. But you're mm -hmm. going to see the violence. You're going to see um, action movies are going to become. Uh, uh, you're going to have the movies, but they're going to be they're going to be war movies. They are going to be sci-fi movies. They're going to be westerns where you can basically, well, this is a historical rendition. Mm -hmm. And sci-fi, well, mm -hmm. sci-fi, you don't really have to, you know, you don't use guns, you're using ray guns and stuff. What's the difference? Yeah. The difference. That's the difference. Yeah, like what? Like that guy thought he was really the Joker. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. 
to, this is a piece of information for everybody in the audience. He did it because he thought he could get Batman to come. His answering machine would say, you know, this is the Joker. Oh, really? Yeah, he uh, thought he was the Joker. He basically, what happens is, um, they're trying to find out, how could this person have done it? What were the warning signs? The warning signs was he was a super intellect and he snapped. Because what happens when you keep pushing somebody that's really intelligent, eventually they walk over an edge. Mm -hmm. They don't want to be intelligent anymore. So he became the dumbest person on earth he could think he could be, which was a super villain, the Joker. And that Batman, okay, well he meant to kill police officers with the bomb. No, he meant to kill Batman. He thought, well, you know, if Batman comes after me and I don't defeat Batman, Batman will go to my, my hideout and when he goes to the door, it will kill Batman and I will be remembered forever for killing Batman. That's all this was about, and killing there, Batman. And there's a lot of you that think, how in the world could somebody be like that? Well, it's the same, well, actually, maybe not the same people, but then on our side, how can people think reality TV is really reality? It's all scripted. So, it's, yeah. But I will give you, we'll use me as an example. Uh, uh, what happened at the, at, at the last two magics we've went to with the Chinese delegations? What happened? Uh, they want pictures taken with me because you cowboy. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then one of them asked, why aren't you wearing your six guns and where's your horse? And how long ago was it that those were done? Uh, we're talking, I haven't made a Western since 1967. Mm -hmm. I think it was the Wild Bunch was the last Western I ever did. Well, and here's another part is a lot of people, it's like here in the United States, we're kind of all about the U.S., okay? Yeah. And we don't hear so much about what goes on in other places. And I remember, like, in other countries, some of them actually think that the TV shows from here is that's actually how it is. Oh, good. No TV, or even remember, would you? What was it like Star Trek or something? They'd watch what happened on TV from our planet, yeah. and that's what the planet was like. No, but um, we'll go back. World War Two. My father was a tank officer with um, with uh, Patton, and uh, my, they basically. My at one time, my father had. Um, they, my father had. Uh, Gene Autry under his command before Gene Autry became, uh, went into another division and became, because my father was a communication officer, Gene Autry was once the fastest telegrapher in the world. Mm -hmm. So naturally you want that guy in, in communications. So, but they, uh, my, they basically met uh, their counterparts in the French military mm -hmm. and my father, my father who could speak German and French, which is why he was a communications officer. And he, 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 and he told Mr. Autry, he, he, who was a sergeant at that time, he said, they want to know where champions at and why you aren't wearing six guns instead of the 45. Mm -hmm. And I, my father said, did you, did you not? He said, what the hell are they thinking? This is this, this make believe. He said, they don't think so. Because if you look at the Westerns, we had cowboys and Indians in the 1940s and in the 1950s and in the 1960s. They were driving, they had automobiles and things like that running around in the movies so naturally they thought this stuff was for real. So that's how Joker that's could go after Batman. After Batman because he... Even if it was in, only in his mind. Okay, how can you tell what political party a person belongs to? How? Because when, when, uh, when Ravano in, in Chobo goes, It's only make-believe. Democrats don't understand that. So Democrats automatically believe everything they sit there and actually do believe reality TV is real and condemn it. Okay, the Republicans and Democrats both condemn it. It gets Emmys for writing, folks. That's right. <laughs> but um, but it is dangerous right now. This is one of the most dangerous times in our nation's history for many reasons. One is that when the Republicans and Democrats ever come together and agree on anything, you've got to be scared the hell out of you. And two... We're on the verge, okay, the, um, the day the news industry died was with the death of Michael Jackson. Yesterday, this was so god-awful entertainment. They had, you know, they're hunting. They chased poor Christopher Bell down from wherever he was at and made him give a statement. Oh, they were chasing, um, you know, Aunt uh, Hathaway down. Oh, you mean Christian Bell and Christian Christopher Bell, Nolan. Christopher Bell and Christopher Nolan. They chased them down. With, well, will you say something to the family, to those people that were slaughtered or hurt because of what you did. Mm -hmm. I love that because of what you did. 
I mean, I had a big debate yesterday. The people on the left on my side don't like it. I said, no, you don't have Christian Bell or anybody make an apology for what happened. It's not real. And then I get half the people on my side. Oh, God, you're, that's, somebody needs to explain to the people on the left that this stuff is not real. This is entertainment. It's make-believe. It is make-believe. I mean, okay. Um, I, I grew up in the film industry. Well, maybe there's a page from Total Recall where they don't know what's real or what's not real. Oh, I can tell you. Very simple. Um, my mother, who would, my, my mother would marry to my father, my grandmother, her mother was a script supervisor. My mother tended to be when it comes to the movies because I'm doing a thing for college. I'm doing an animation. I mean, I, I got um, Sammy Davis Jr. to sing the Candyman for a thing I was doing for my, for my doctor process in cinematography. And, and I've, got, I've got this set up everywhere in the place, you know, because I'm doing movable animation. And she said, oh, you mean it's not done, you know, what, you know, with drawings? And I said, no. And I said, oh. And then she come back a, month, a week later, stuff hasn't, you know, have, um, oh, it's not done with, and then this went on for six months. Oh, it's not done with, <coughs> because my mother, whose husband was in the industry, I'm in the industry, her mother's in the industry, oh. Week after week after week for six months until I clean the thing out of the out of the garage. So that that's a very intelligent woman who was vice president, secretary, treasurer, one of the largest uh, fast food chains in the whole god darn world, and she she didn't know the difference how things were really in the industry. Mm -hmm. And that's the way it is. And the more intelligent people are, the more they think they don't understand what's going on around them. Mm -hmm. But you're looking for change, and change is never for the better when Republicans and Democrats get together. It's always for the worst because they don't care. Um, it's a, it, it, they, get, they get in their mind that we've got to do this for people. The right needs a law. The right, we need morality, the left, we need control. And when morality and control ever get together, you are screwed. Mm. So expect this to be a major issue this political season. <laughs> Or election year, shall yeah. we say. Yeah, so until the next time, this is all camera. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.montybubbles.net on the net or www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com. So thank you very much for over 250 million links.